Hey guys, it's Olivia aka with Love OA here for another video on the topic of coding boot camps. So as you guys know, I went to the Flatiron School, graduated in May, got my job in May, started in June. And, um, but to rewind and reverse all the way back to the beginning, you know, the question was, okay, the boot camp costs this amount of money. How the heck am I going to afford this? Right. Um, and so I did a ton of research and so that's what this video was for, to tell you how you can afford a coding boot camp very easily and what it, and everything that in it it entails so um most coding boot camps that I know of are typically around anywhere from like ten to fourteen thousand dollars in person <clears throat> I know online I think online is a little bit cheaper but in person you're gonna be paying around ten to fourteen thousand dollars is it worth it one million percent um, it is an amazing investment um, and I can only speak for the Houston campus, but I'm pretty sure for the other campuses, they're absolutely beautiful. Like, it's, it's bar none. Um, so you get to come to this beautiful campus every single day. They're always sponsoring lunches. You're always getting free food. There's free beer every single day, free wine. Um, the views are amazing. Um, you get access to the building 24 seven. You get to network and um, make connections. I made connections there. Um, I actually picked up a client there um, because there's other small business owners in the building at WeWork buildings. They have events like a couple times out the week. I mean, it is 100% worth it on top of the education and on top of, you know, being able to get a job after the fact. So, um, so that's the cost, A. B, that's what you're getting for that cost. Um, also, if you need a laptop, you can give them a $1,000 and um, borrow it. And then once you give the laptop back, you get your $1,000 back. Um, you do need a MacBook. You do need a new MacBook. Um, I just wound up buying my own right before the course. Um, someone did use a Surface, uh, so maybe you could ask them about that if you have something else that you want to use you can ask them um so let's see so how do you afford it so typically how the payment plans work is as soon as you are accepted into the program you have to pay a deposit so that they can know that you're serious that you're actually going to be there for me that deposit was about it was a thousand dollars so that thousand dollars there's no way work around around it you got to pay that thousand dollars like you got to ask your parents, ask your friends, ask your husband, ask someone if you can borrow $1,000. You can put it on a credit card. You can put it on a debit card. Um, but somehow, you know, maybe you could get a personal loan for it. But somehow, some way, you personally have to come up with $1,000 and you pay that and that locks in your position at the school. So... Once that happens, then the rest of your money is due on the day that you start. I do want to note that they, Flatiron School does have scholarships for people in underrepresented um, demographics in the tech world. I am a woman of color. I am a double minority, if you will. Um, and so I definitely got a scholarship, nothing major at all. I still owed five figures. Um, but I did get a little bit off. Um, so then it's like, okay, well, all this, you know, five figures are due the day that I start school. How am I going to afford this? How am I going to pay for that? They have loan companies specifically for coding boot camps. So I, I, I really want to clarify here and say that you don't have to have the best of credit because it is a school loan. These loan companies know what they're doing by investing specifically in coding boot camp students. They know that we're good for it. They know that we're going to be making good money very soon and that we'll be paying them back well. And so um, if you're afraid because you already have student loans, um, I already had student loans way, way, I think I probably had like $30,000 in school loans from my traditional education. Um, 
that was no problem um, and my credit isn't like the best it's not like an 800 credit score it's nothing like to scream home tell home about um, but what I did was I got my dad to co-sign so if you know someone that can co-sign for you that has amazing credit or decent credit um, that works now so you apply for the loan and you pretty much get an answer back the next day um, we were told that we got the loan and um, we would we were told the payment terms which while you're in the program you pay $100 a month and that's just interest you're just paying the interest and then you have six months from the time that the loan is issued to get a job I mean to start paying back the real amount of money so um, in six months then you have to pay four hundred dollars a month and that's for three years so I really hope this information is useful because I was looking for this information online and I could not find it um, the nitty-gritty details of exactly what is expected out of these loan groups I used um, a company called climb credit um, there is there are other loan companies out there that finance coding bootcamp students so just take a look um, and climb credit actually has like its parameters of what it accepts so they'll say okay you must have this credit score you must have that or what on average they typically accept so you can just google that yourself but yeah you pay a hundred dollars a month for six months after six months then you pay four hundred dollars a month for three years and bam you're done it is considered a school loan so I'm pretty sure um, that you'll uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to file it on your taxes I'm not sure but that's pretty much it that's pretty much it. Let me know if y'all have some more questions. Bye.